a lot of Big 12 fans uh, have been basically wanting the Pac-12 conference to die. Uh, and I, I don't necessarily want – I don't want the conference to die, but what I want to happen, I want my school, West Virginia, to end up at the, at the best seat possible. And I, I don't know what it takes for that to happen. So that's, that's all. That's, that's what I'm worried about. Uh, if that means we need to stay in the Big 12 and go take some Pac-12 schools, then that's what I want to see happen. Whatever puts West Virginia in the best possible position, I don't want college football to fall apart. I don't want the Pac-12 to die necessarily. But if that's what it takes in order for the Big 12 to survive, then, I, you know, I've got I, that's what I want. Uh, and I'm not ashamed to say that because I'm a West Virginia fan. I mean, look behind me, you know, and I, I want my team to be in the best possible position. What I do feel bad about is the teams like Oregon State, Washington State, these schools that may not get a, have a home if the Pac-12 dissolves. Now, here's my thoughts on that, guys. I think, I personally think, that the Pac-12 is going to, going to end up staying afloat. If you, if you, apparently, all of us Big 12 people, and I, I've got a kind of, and, and this goes to me too, all of us Big 12 people apparently forgot what happened to us a year ago. Everybody wanted us dead, said we were dead. And we, we survived by going and getting four more schools. Who's to say the Pac-10 can't do that? The Pac-12 can't do that, right? They can go get a, a San Diego State if the Big 12 doesn't get them first. They can go get a San Diego State. Maybe they get a Fresno State. Maybe they get a, a Boise State, whoever. I, I don't think the Pac-12 will get Boise State because of their academic. No offense to my Boise State fans. But Boise State's academic rankings make West Virginia look like Harvard. So I don't I don't see how in the world the Pac-12 – Boise State's a great brand. They are a great brand. I think they'd be a good fit in the Big 12 possibly. But I just don't see them going to the Pac-12. I don't think the Pac-12 would accept them unless they just get extremely desperate. And maybe they are. I don't know. But back, but I digress. Uh, I think the Pac-12 will end up surviving this. I really do uh, because I think they're going to go add a few teams. And I think they're going to stay afloat. Uh, it, it's not going to be the Pac-12 everybody's used to. Uh, they're not going to have the big L.A. schools anymore. I mean, the numbers bear it out. They're, I love Boise State. Uh, I've done a couple videos with a couple great Boise State fans. Bron Bronco Blameyer, go check out his channel, by the way. Master of Jacob at, over at Master Football, go check his channel out. Two Boise State fans that have been gracious enough to, to work with me. Great guys, and they do great work. And Boise State's a great brand, but when you look at their academic rankings, I mean, the proof's in the pudding with that. And I'm not saying – I personally don't care about academics, but the Pac-12 does. So I just don't think the Boise State will get in the Pac-12. Those autonomy five conferences, what we call the power five conferences, each one of those conferences get a vote when it comes to making decisions for the sport, right? And whether it be college football playoff expansion, whether it be, you know, Policy issues, governance issues, all of that. They all get it. They all get a vote. And if we get down to only two or three conferences, that means the SEC and the Big Ten, the two the two big dogs, would definitely have power because their two votes are going to mean more. So if you want enough vote, I mean that's the whole reason the alliance was formed, is so the SEC couldn't run the show basically, right? Well, if you get down to where there's only three conferences, the SEC. Big Ten, and let's say, you know, say the Big 12 survives all this and becomes the last man standing. If there's only three conferences, that means the Big Ten and SEC can outvote the Big 12 on every issue. Is that really healthy for the sport? If we get down to four conferences, you only have two votes against the Big Ten and the SEC, which means it's, it could come down to a tie, right? So if, as long, if you have five Power Five conferences, it's an odd number, which will allow the other three conferences to have a bigger say and what happens with the future of college football. So there, there is an advantage to having all five conferences survive this thing. The Big Ten and SEC will not yield as much power if there are more conferences that stay alive. So, uh, I, you know, I'm talking myself through this here. Maybe it is better that the Pac-12 survives. Maybe it's better for the sport of college football if the Pac-12 is able to sustain Go add a couple schools. Go add, I don't know who they are, who they should add. Tony, you probably know that better than I do, but go add a San Diego State. Uh, we don't want the Big Ten and, and SEC to control everything in college football. 